All right. <clears throat> this is your daily read, Virgo, for November 4th. Take what resonates and leave the rest. I already did your weekly videos along with all the other Zodiacs. If you want to go and look at those, Tarot's Real Talk Tarot. Link is in my bio. If you want to cross-watch any of those, feel free to do so. All right, Spirit, what do you got for my Virgo babies for today? Gosh, I hope it's something good. I'm hoping it's... <laughs> I'm a Virgo, so... <laughs> <laughs> we always go through some shit all the time all the fucking time uh, okay let's see what we got here so far we have the death card you could be dealing with the Scorpio you don't have to be we also have the ace of cups we have the six of wands in reverse and we have the eight of swords Interesting. So there is definitely a rebirth going on. Um, there is an offer of you following your heart at something. Um, this could be a new offer of love or it could be um, somebody coming in to show love to you. Wow, we got the lover's card. You could be dealing with the Gemini. You don't have to be. I think with the Eight of Swords, you're not really seeing this coming. It's like you don't see this coming. Six of Wands in reverse. Um, okay, speed read. I'm going to take as many of these as I can. Um, we have the Five of Swords. Okay, so I feel like that there could be an energy that's coming in. Bottom deck energy is Seven of Swords. There could be an energy coming in that is wanting to have an emotional talk with you. Talk about where is this going to go. Um, I feel like this is going to sideswipe you. We have the world. We have the Queen of Pentacles. You're popping up in your own reading. Or you could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You don't have to be. We have the Two of Pentacles trying to balance things out. Ten of Wands. It's hard work. Five of Pentacles. Man, you're working on shit. But you're trying to figure certain things out without letting it be known. We have the Four of Wands. There is a sense of success here. I feel like this could be personal success. Are you standing up for yourself? But there's something about this that you feel like um, a person might be strategizing to get to you somehow. So we have the Eight of Pentacles along with the Three of Pentacles. So somebody's going to come in or somebody's thinking about coming in. And you can take this as a love reading or you can take this as... You know, just take it how it resonates in your life. Lovers doesn't always mean a love interest. It can also mean just somebody that you love or you following your heart into something that you love. Okay. So with the death card, there is a sense of rebirth. I feel like that there could be a person that is going through some kind of rebirth. You could also be going through a rebirth of becoming a new person than what you used to be. But the Ace of Cups is a sense of you following your heart or you um, you could possibly be offered a new love pathway. Um, but the Ace of Cups is um, just all of a sudden you're following your heart. And it's like I, I'm thinking about going in this direction because it feels good. We do have the Six of Wands in reverse. I feel like that this is an indicator to not lose yourself. You know, the Six of Wands upright is about being seen. It's about um, being justified. It's about being heard. I feel like that if there is a person coming in, um, they want to be heard. They don't necessarily want to hear you. I feel like that they, maybe they feel like they've heard enough of you. <laughs> you may. You may have given them one of your lovely Virgo lectures. And maybe they want to tell you what they have learned versus you telling them about themselves. So I feel like they may want to be heard in wanting to let you know what they have learned. Um, with the Eight of Swords, it's a sense of you still being defensive and you're putting the blindfold up. Um... You may not be convinced that this person is, you know, like, what is their intention? I feel like that you're looking at their intention, like, why? You know, like, why are you talking to me about this? I feel like that they they have a deep love for you. 
um, or it could be that a really good strong sense of connection um, and they're wanting you to know that with the five of swords though you're wondering if it's a head game you're wondering if it's deception you're wondering if they're just trying to get you in a spot of being vulnerable it's almost like what do you want like what is your intention you're you're guarded you're defensive um you're trying to see but at the same time there's something that happened here that you're not sure if they really learned their lesson we do have the two of cups so there is a heart to heart talk they may be trying to connect with you and get you to understand that maybe they learned their lesson. Maybe they figured certain things out. And maybe being without you in their life is not an option for them. So there is a sense of having that heart-to-heart -heart talk of, you know, can we at least be cordial? Can we at least be friends? Can we at least go in this direction? With the two of wands, you're going to be questioning where you want to place your energy. It's like, do you give this a chance or do you not? Do you give this life? Do you give this movement? Do you give this motivation to moving in a certain direction? And I see that there's a, a new world being built up here. So you could be possibly building up a new world and you're at the center of it. You're like, you know what? Maybe we can be friends. Maybe we can be more than that. Maybe we can slowly date. Maybe we can reconcile this friendship. Whatever the case is for you. But you're standing within your own, okay? So the Queen of Pentacles is loving, very abundant, very very giving as well. But she is not to be taken for a fool. So with the Two of Pentacles, I do feel like that you're still kind of guarded, but you're setting your boundaries. And it's like, okay, we can balance this energy out. We can balance out certain things. With the Ten of Wands, you do know it's going to take some work. Five of Pentacles... You know, there is a sense of you feeling ghosted or there is a sense of you feeling kind of alone. But this could also be you kind of focusing on the past and you're trying to get out of that. But we do have the Four of Wands, which is a sense of, you know, you being able to celebrate and an ascension is going to go from one space to another. So there could be somebody coming back and saying, can we at least be friends and start off there and see where it goes and, you know, try it again. But this time... On the right foot so that is what I have for you for this weekend Virgo I am sending you so much love light healing and production have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon